All right, we want to wrap up this conversation and one perspective that has been brought in by an audience member is the fact that corruption could even start at home when you send your child to the supermarket and, you know, bribe them with a sweet. I'm glad within this conversation we also have a, a psychologist. So, Dominic, tie in that loop in for me, mm. how psychology and corruption, where does that bridge come mm, in? Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting question. Uh, see, we are a product of nature and nurture. You cannot, you cannot really separate those two. Mm -hmm. We... We are human beings and just we were having this conversation just offset, no? That the fake news, uh, as Arnold was mentioning, is as old as, as humanity. Why? Because uh, sometimes, oftentimes, the lie looks way better than the truth, okay? And if, we, and if the lie works, then I'm going to use it, you see? So if I use something that, and then it works for me, then what does it mean for the brain? That you, sh you should use this because it's good for survival. Now, our brain is wired to remember negative events because uh, and that's why it is very wrong to tell a person to forgive and forget because people do not forget you cannot tell a person who has been sexually abused forgive and forget they cannot forget that they were abused so our brain is wired to remember negative events simply for survival so that you can avoid it but also the opposite is true our brain teaches us to remember what works for us now does a lie work for me if i tell my girl or my wife the truth my relationship will not work, take for example. But if I tell her a lie, she's gonna take it and my relationship works. So what do I do? I maximize on the lie, mm -hmm. okay? So we are products of our, of, 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 of our society, of our nature. Now, when kids are young, they are less self-conscious in the sense they are, less, they are less concerned about public opinion. They are just, uh, they're just who they are. But when it comes to the age of puberty, 11, 12 years, kids become very self-conscious and they become very, uh, the idea of belonging to a community, a peer group becomes hugely important and they become less critical because of that. The idea of belonging becomes more important than the truth, all right? So that is one of, the, one of the key problems that we have at this aspect. So the psychology of corruption works on the same way. We have a society that praises a utilitarian concept of, uh, of living. Is this beneficial for me? Is the lie working? Even if it's short term, but is it working? Is it pragmatic right now? It is working for me. It's either I die or I put food on the table. So this becomes a cycle. Remember what I mentioned previously. I, I am a kid who is under pressure from my dad. If you get a B plus or an A minus, I'm gonna buy you a phone, okay? That's all my dad is concerned about. How do I get that A minus? How do I get that B plus? My dad has never had this conversation with me. My mom has never had this conversation with me. What does it entail? Then this kid is growing up seeing that the people who represent the parents are benefiting from corruption. They are benefiting and they are popular and they are famous. What right. does that mean for me uh, unconsciously? All right, gentlemen, we need to start up with closing remarks. I'll begin with you, Arnold. I need to say that uh, many of the people who practice corruption especially the people in high office, they do corruption out of greed and out of choice. But for so many young people who by any reason end up committing an act of corruption, they actually practice it as a life skill to survive. And that they do it as a life skill doesn't mean that it is right. Integrity then means that we are doing not just what is legal, but what is morally right. There are things that are actually, it's not wrong. That's why your example on uh, giving a sweet looking like a bribe, it could be appreciation. We also need to teach appreciation to children. It could be a way of encouraging others that when, if you are sent, you go out. You will look at it in so many ways. So we need to, like I said earlier on, first of all, can we look at the bigger picture? There are much more young people who are doing the right thing. Two, I said here, we spoke about, we speak about secondary virginity, but we never talk about secondary integrity. Mm -hmm. Virginity is like integrity, it's the same. So if we speak about secondary virginity, can we also start thinking about ways of bringing back guys who in one way or the other were starting to feel like corruption is okay, can we bring them back? Otherwise, it's going to be a very hard fight if we condemn 100%, especially those who find themselves in corruption. First, like he gave an example, you know too well that if I go in on Friday, and come we do, Monday. I'll come back on Monday and then yeah. I'll, be drag, I'll be dragged in court for the next three months, wasting a lot of my time and everything else. Yeah. So giving 500 shillings saves my time. I have not killed anyone. Yeah. And therefore, I'll <laughs> go back home. But you know, that series moves on all the way up. Mm. It has to stop somewhere. Some okay. place, some, 
And Trevor, in this show, please, can we just say that young people are the hope of tomorrow, that young people are the ones who are fighting corruption, that young people are the ones who are paying the price for corruption, and therefore they should not be blamed for this uh, zombie that is actually okay. taking his up. Right. Daddy Owen? Uh, going with what uh, Arnold has said, there's one point that is very, very important. Uh, I think it's high time right now we start even rewarding and awarding people who, even the leaders, who are not involved in corruption. Mm -hmm. Because we always get the, the other picture. But how about we start embracing even the media, just showing this person, we've, we've seen the books, they have never been corrupt, this person is a clean person, he's like, you understand? Just to motivate even the young people who are coming up to look at someone. Because what the young people are, miss the young people are missing is the leader. You understand? Because politicians, as the saying goes, politicians care about the next election. A leader cares about the next generation. So for me, I believe we need to look for those leaders, even as media, even as young people, to embrace and start decorating even them, as in celebrating them mm. to a level whereby they are celebrities just because they are not involved in, in corruption. Because all we see even in the media is corrupt guys, corrupt leaders, corrupt. So let's change Kulgongana tape side A and side B. To yeah. side B, sasa. Side <laughs> so we vocalize those, yeah. Yeah. those yeah. who are doing good because yeah. they are... Like he's saying, there are so many who are doing good, yeah. but we never hear about them. Okay. So if we start celebrating them, mm. I think he's a psychologist. But you should not reward them. We cannot reward okay, the people celebrate. for doing what is right. Okay, okay celebrate. All right. All right. <laughs> let's celebrate. It, is, it should be okay. normal. Okay. Let's celebrate. Right. Okay, let's see full stop. Okay, Mimi, I think that one are points in there. First, uh, about your fight corruption. Eh? Mimi, come on to a band showbiz, I'm a music industry. Eh? Neza sema vile tuneza fight corruption sisi kama mayuti. Si lazima tutupe mawe ama tupigia wa mapuda. Tuneza anza kuwaibisha. Kuwaibisha aje. Kama ni msani. Wasani wanze tu kuwaibisha wa leaders kwa mamziki. Kwa mavida. Yani ikuwe tu yani kitu yote ambayo inatoka hapa ambayo ni mziki ama to do with videos na nini. Tunaibisha tu waze. Yani mbaka wa world wa notice. Kuna kitu wa Kenya wanaimba. Mm -hmm. Bocha tusikia story inaweza kwa ni nini. Mm -hmm. eh, then, two, eh, society yache kuchukia mavijana mm -hmm. na ipatie ma youth chance. Mm -hmm. I think wakifanya mistakes, yu ni part of growing. Mm -hmm. And then, ya tatu, sisi ma youth mm -hmm. kwe na unity, tuwache kuchukiana. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu, ukikuwa umefanya kitu mbaya, mm -hmm. watu wataongea, brrrr, hako mm -hmm. Watu waliongea, mm -hmm. Amena Turkana kafidua tu say yeah. mm. that's Shika. bad. Shika. Mm. Melewa, uh -huh. yu ni mbaya. Uh -huh. Atufai kuishi na society so kama yu. Ukifanya kitu mzuri unafuta na unafanya kitu mbaya unafuta na mzuri. Melewa sasa. So asha jua. Ah, kwa hivyo next nezaenda nifanya hivi. Mm -hmm. Alafu nikitaka ku, watu ni sifu. Ah, sinenda ni. Mm -hmm. Unajua? Ame to buy. Uh, uh, you see? <laughs> 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 And then ya mwisho sasa yeah. okay. ni tupewe chance sisi kama mayutu maze tupewe chance eh unaona mimi naongea kusu kazi yangu ile ambayo minafanya kwa sababu kitu ambayo ni notice sisi mayutu especially ukienda Mombasa ni mbaya zaidi usiku ikishafika saa mbili hawezi na yuti nje naona hao mavijana sisi tuli grow up tukienda kula happy atakuwa tunanyonga mtu atakuwa tunafanya nini hapo mm. tunakuwa tunaenda doctor stress ya mwalimu ya nani unajua umesoma umeamka asubuhi mavijana wa, wa, watu hiyo amka asubuhi 5 mm. kwa stage mm. wanarudi home saa mbili mm. so una need somewhere sunday uende ama saturday uruke upige kelele at least unajua mm. eh, so mavijana wapo chance kama hiyo pia wa enjoy life okay. yes okay. all right dominic closing your back you know there's someone who said the hope of humanity lies in the integrity of the individual So the individual himself has to be convinced of the necessity of integrity because the, hum the individual makes the community. And so for me, this is very essential for a young person. If each one of us needs to understand, don't undervalue yourself. In the span of your life, you might know a, hand, a, a thousand people who you're going to impact significantly in the span of your life. Now, these people are going to impact another thousand people rich. That means you are at the center of at least a million people. And you are you, you're one person away from impacting a million people. And you're two people away from impacting a billion people. Right? So do not undermine the value of your impact, of what you can do as an individual. So I think for me this is very essential. Number two is there is nothing of value 
that has a shortcut. There is no shortcut to job satisfaction. There is no shortcut to purpose in life. There is no shortcut to, to love. You've got to do what it takes to get there. And so I, I think, uh, in my opinion, and in addition to what he's saying, we young people need to realize that you've got to work for what work uh, for for what is what is good. And we can start with small integrity groups that when we organize ourselves into small organizations that are integral, that practice integrity, this can, this can have an impact in what I'm saying, that you are the center of a spectrum of, you are, either, you are the center of a circle of millions of people. And if you start something good, it might have a social impact. And I think that's where we need to start. Mm -hmm. And uh, to finish up with what Arnold has said, there's a lot of young people who are doing good. I know one organization led by young people called Elnet. And what they do is they take, um, uh, leaders in, a, in, in organization and the society and they evaluate them against their corruption index and they, and, they, and they give them a certificate according to what the people around them are saying. Lots of thorough research here in Kenya. Yeah. And, and, and this, I think, is good, celebrating the people who are doing well. All they right. We have to leave it there. <laughs> you don't rewind <laughs> 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 Celebrating. Yeah, celebrating. We have to leave it there now. Thank you so much for coming in. Daddy Owen, Dominic Kamau, Arnold Maliba, and MC Full Stop. We have a lot of feedback from you. We'll try and squeeze them in really fast on our SMS line, 224222. Head on Twitter as well. Let's bring them up on your screen. Run them through really fast. Clean22, he says, I was once arrested at Thika for absolutely nothing. I was taken to Thika police station and we were told to jitete. I tried calling people I know since I'm an orphan. No one picked up. I paid 1,000 shillings. Thought I would go to jail and lose my job. I hate corruption though. Wow. All right. Gitonga Bruno says, yes. It's right because the same money being corrupt is that money given out as loan to the, count, to the country. And in the long run, they will be one to pay for the loan indirectly. That's Gitonga Brune and we have Gashene K. Giving a child a sweet to go to shops isn't corruption. It's teaching commensurate reward for effort. Corruption is expecting reward without commensurate effort. Our youth don't have visible, relatable heroes who are successful and not corrupt to inspire them to strive to work. All right, and we have another one here. Irene Nasua says, a few young people are playing their role. A larger percentage are not to a greater extent. They cannot entirely carry the blame being victims of a failed system who have been socialized by weak institutions. We have to urgently work on our institutions as well. People find themselves into systems that were already corrupted by other people. Replacing this system is individual and a collective responsibility. All right, let's take a look at the SMSs now. That's coming through on 224222. You don't leave a name. You say our youth are frustrated a lot. Their outlook is very grim if our leaders don't take stock. The mess they are making at, of this nation, our youth are caught up trying to find ways to stay afloat in a country that is eating up its own children. They are facing huge issues, so even fighting corruption is not a priority. The suicide rates are higher. There is no goodwill to enable youth fight corruption. Wow, that's pretty long. Cherugon in Eldred says it's unfortunate that Kenyan youth lost direction in literally everything. In school, including universities, they condone laziness and spirited attempts to cheat in exams. In the social world, they are the major client of illegal drugs, excessive alcohol consumption, lost in betting dens, leading the pack in suicides and criminal activities in politics. In politics, they are being used like pawns in a chess game. They form part of ready crowd for politicians to come and make pronouncements that are irrelevant to them. They have little bundles in their phones ready to hurl insults in the social media. It's time with the society have a conversation on our youth.